Alrighty guys, how are you doing? My name is Si, this is Task Force Vlogs, welcome to the channel. We are testing out the Holy Stone UAV drone, whatever you want to call it. Um, so obviously this is a vlog channel, we do a lot of abandoned and exploring and things like this and we need it for that sweet aerial drone shot obviously, you may be seeing the YouTube videos where you're filming something and then uh, all of a sudden it goes zoom, epic music, drone shot, so I need to up my vlog game. Um, didn't see the point of spending like two grand like off the bat, so uh, I think it's about eight quid I'm not sure I'm gonna pop it up on the screen now with some info so you can look at it and the link will be in the description If you're interested in this particular one So all right guys welcome. So this is the just a quick one And this is what I've got on here holy stone the HS 260 foldable drone for kids adults with 1080p HD camera adjustable RC quadcopter for beginners with 30 minutes flight time so when it says 30 minutes it's a bit of over advertising there you get two batteries 15 minutes flight time each 20 percent off at the minute 63.99 it is an 80 pound drone uh, and you can apply the five pound voucher there this is exactly what you want to see um and it's got all the details if you want to go on there i will leave the link in the description for you all right now you've seen that we don't even know yet that's the theory we've got to do the practical so let's get this thing unboxed have a cheeky look at it show you it and then we can go out and we've got a, a nice lovely few fields next door to me and um, it's all snowy as well so it's going to look pretty epic and uh, we'll take it up and get some footage for you and see what it looks like. Okay so this is indeed the Holy Stone HS260 uh, band 2.4 gigahertz age 14 and plus it says. So this records in 1080p. Okay, so this comes with everything you need. It's got two batteries in it and a case. Handy little case, look at that, that's cool. So it's pretty small, you can slap it straight in your adventurer's bag. Look at this, some bit of protective covering and everything individually bagged as well, look. So this will be a spare battery, and I'll take it one is in it. So there you go, that is a battery. So I think you slide that straight in the back, a little click release there. Okay, there is the controls. Up, down, oh wow, okay man, this is gonna be weird. And then obviously, this holds your phone, and uh, you uh, have got the app that we will download in a minute. Uh, and look, you got a record button, you got a photo button, and things like that. And it requires some triple uh, A's. I think they're triple A's there for the remote. And it looks like we're walking to the shop. So you'll be flying like this. So you can see on the screen what the drone sees, which is pretty good. So look at the drone itself, it's a tiny thing. And I think the wind might affect this some. So here it is, a little fold out in your hand drone. So let's get the stuff out. And that is pretty nifty, man. So basically we've got to get some batteries for the remote, install the app, and uh, I think we're good to go, man. There's a little zip up compartment there. So let's fold this away nice and neatly. Aha, look at this. Got a little screwdriver and some spare rotors there, which is awesome. So if you damage them or fly into a tree or something, you've got some backups. That is actually really cool. So in the instruction book on page 13, you actually get the QR code and it gave me this so it took me straight to hsfpv v4 which i guess is what it's on so it's given us the app uh, there but we've got to pair it to this and i am currently charging a b8 tree so when we do this there's a little plastic thing over the four little prongs there so we we'll take that off and then we can get the battery in which connects at the top there Boop. Okay, we are in there with the battery. We're gonna hold the on button. It looks like it's trying to pair. 
So if you go to the Wi-Fi, you've actually got the drone on there. The Holy Stone 3873 blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna connect to that. Oh my God. We have camera footage. How cool is that, man? Legit. So I'm gonna be flying that with the battery on that on there. That is awesome. So pretty cool, man. That is a clear picture. I tell you, that is a good picture. Right, the only thing now is to get some batteries in the remote and take this thing out for a fly, man. And uh, we'll keep the instructions in there just in case. We've got a battery on charge at the minute. We're gonna go get that. And uh, keep me like, ready to go for the practical test outside and fly this thing, boys and girls. So we'll see when we're outside. All right, ladies and gents, we've got some batteries and we have arrived at the massive field. I know, exciting. Let me sort the batteries out because we just got some from the shop, so we'll probably fly it from here to be honest. I don't know. Alright, we have life on the controller. Into the field. Alright, here we go, we've got the drone. First time flying, so don't expect anything amazing. <laughs> Hell, we might blow it up. Open this up. Take the phone case off. Pop it in there. And then we're going to go to where you'd have the Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. We're going to see a holy stone there. That's the drone. <laughs> it's cold today. <laughs> it's up and running. Okay, we've got the tick. So we're loading up the app we downloaded, HS FPV V4. And we're gonna see what the drone sees. I'm gonna turn the controller on. I'm gonna get the flashing red light. Okay, and now this is what the drone sees, what's in front of it, so. Okay, wow, yeah, test flight complete. Camera is really, it's pretty good. We'll have to see when we get it on the computer. It did seem to glitch out a little bit if we spun too fast and stuff, but we'll uh, we'll have a look on there. That's pretty good. Right, jogger going past there. Right, uh, yeah, test complete. I mean, it's a lot easier to fly with the phone. The controller didn't seem to be too responsive. I was using the buttons on the phone there. I don't know if you can see, so you get like two options. So, um, you know, got to have a little play with it, man, but it seems pretty sick. So there you go, drone review. If anything, just you have to, you have to get good at flying it, to be honest. But 
Apart from that, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next one. Peace.